Hi Leo, happy 2022. I hope the new year is going well for you so far. Let's get some cards out for your yearly reading. I'm not going month by month. We're just looking at a general theme. Of course, whatever I say is not the only thing going on in your life in 2022, so keep that in mind. You don't need to be a Leo sun sign to be watching this and have it resonate. Okay, so let's get into it. I will be doing the extended. That link will be in the description box below. I always feel such good vibes with you, Leo. I just did Libra's reading and they're meeting a Leo, or potentially, <laughs> it seemed like it. She could be meeting a Libra, but anyways, or maybe you, there's something in that reading for you. Okay, let's see what's going on for Leo in 2022 spirit. Leo, reflection. Let's get one more. What is Leo reflecting about in 2022? Personal power. Look at these cards. So powerful, these cards. Like, I mean, some of them are don't look like this. Like, you know, I mean, not to say that that card's not powerful, but these are like... Um, well, I wanted to say dark power, but that's not exactly what I mean. Quiet. They're quiet. It's a quiet reflection. It's a quiet personal power. Holy shit. This is strong. There's something also very uh, wild about it. Like uh, feral, almost. You could be going out on your own in 2022. I'm sensing like this vagabond energy, okay? It's like you're, uh, you're breaking from the pack here. You're realizing that you, you really don't, I mean, we all need people as humans, right? But there's something that you've been hanging on to that you don't, like you don't need. There's something here about survival too, like, well you're looking back at your life and I feel like it's you're looking back on your whole life you're reflecting on how strong you are I'm also seeing um <laughs> well I see this as you but I'm also seeing this as a guide like I just saw, like I thought I saw wings there. It almost looks like that right there. It's like it feels like there's a very strong guide around you. And it could be like an ancestor or someone in your immediate family who's passed that's like with you. But it feels very strong, very powerful. This car is just really staring me down in the best possible way. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into your reading, Leo. What's going on for the Leo Collective? For 2022 color blue is maybe something that you want to incorporate more into your world in 2022 oof yes let's see what are you leaving behind in 2021 four of cups in reverse with the five of cups in reverse behind that. Well, this is some kind of apathy, but see Leo, I feel like you were feeling apathetic or you weren't expressing, maybe you were pretending to be in, into something that you really weren't into. And you were doing that because you felt like you had to, okay, or that you were involved with something for so long that you didn't want to walk away from it. But you're realizing like, um, Well, there's something you just don't want to fight for anymore. You figured something out that was a little bit mysterious before. You could have had some suspicions about something, but you figured something out and you've decided like you don't want to invest in it anymore. You don't even want to pretend. Leo, I'm getting this feeling like um, there was something that you were involved in 
where uh, I feel like we've had this message for you before, but it's like um, it's like you almost played up that you didn't care about something when you really did, but like you didn't know how else to get away from it other than like expressing you you didn't care. Does that make sense? It's something like that. I don't know. And that could have been maybe last year or some other time in your life. But you're reflecting, I think, specifically on that point. Let's pull out a keyword for you here uh, and see what's going on. Let's see for Leo. Humility. You're reflecting on that. Hmm. Observe, well, yeah, <laughs> observe <laughs> honesty. You're getting really honest about yourself. You're getting humble, you're having humility. You're observing your own actions in the past in situations that you didn't feel comfortable in or you didn't like anymore. And what, what did you do in those situations? Because I feel like for a large group of you, you kind of stuck with it. It's like you committed to something, so you followed through with it, even though you didn't really want to. And you're realizing that you don't need to do that. You can break from the path. Okay, your current self, the empress in the upright. Beautiful, amazing. So much creative potential, so abundant. Such a light in the dark too. I mean, look at that. It's not often we see the empress card depicted at night with the moon here. You're in touch. And then the moon's here too. Same cycle of the moon. You're really in touch with um, the unconscious. Like the dark creative side. Uh, it's like that side of uh, like when an artist goes through something shitty, you know? And it's like that becomes their muse. It's almost like that, but it doesn't really necessarily feel like there was something super painful recently. It could have been something from the past, like far away past. The theme of the year, the Four of Wands in reverse. Vagabond energy, moving, leaving something stable behind. I think you're also, I heard deking out. Okay, you could be deking out of like social events and celebrations of some sort, which is unlike you, Leo, but this does feel like a big year of doing some kind of deep exploration within yourself. A key goal to pursue is the nine of swords in the upright. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos on this channel where I talk about shadow work, <laughs> we know that shadow work's not fun. Like th this tiger is super powerful, but it doesn't look like he's having fun. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it, right? Same with this wolf. Looks fierce, but not really having so much fun there. Okay, so I feel like with the key goal to pursue, it's like keep pushing past those fears and anxieties that you have and continue to do this work that you're doing. You're in a good space to do it. You're not coming from this energy of uh, reflection on your life from um, a, a lack mentality. You're coming in with abundance in your mind and in your soul and you're able to push through some of those difficult memories that you have, experiences that you've been through. And it's not, well, it's not even push past, it's go into really. You're not trying to push past them, you're trying to go into them to find out where your personal power really comes from. Because once you realize where your personal power comes from, then you can access it whenever you want. And that is what you want. An obstacle to overcome this year. Two of swords in reverse. Making decisions too quickly. Pace yourself. Okay, allow yourself the time to make a decision. Allow yourself to not answer right away. If somebody wants you to meet them or uh, do something for them or whatever, take a job. Allow yourself some time here to really weigh your options and consider why you are saying yes or why you are saying no. 
This looks like a big year of uh, reflection, like mental, conscious reflection about the decisions you make and why you make them. And this is all to empower you. And of course, this isn't the only thing going on this year, but this is one of them, right? What triggers you? Why does something trigger you? What do you hate? Why do you hate it? What do you dislike? Why do you dislike it? It's like asking all of those questions and going deeper than that, you know? I know I have a strange example coming to my head. It's like, I dislike this reading, you know? Like, I don't like the way this reading is going. Okay, why don't you like this reading? Wait, because I'm just using me as an example. <laughs> okay, maybe someone feels like this. But it's like, well, she, this is boring. She's really not telling me what's going to go on. Well, why do you need to know that? Well, because I really have no idea what's going on with myself. Well, why don't you know what's going on with yourself? You know, it's like going further and further and to the point where you realize like it's really not about that, that thing that's external to me. It's about my own expectations about something. A lot of people don't really want to face that, right? Okay. Um, and if you don't like this, that's okay. <laughs> a major accomplishment uh, this year in 2021. Seven of pentacles in reverse. This is not settling for anything. This is seeing when something is no longer um, prosperous and then abandoning it, leaving it alone. Even if it is unfinished. Even if the project's unfinished. Even if, you know you had plans to go on vacation with the person you're dating but it's not going well it's like well no i'm gonna have to break up now because i know i'll want to break up later and i'm not going to pretend for that vacation it's like that right mm -hmm. not settling and not not putting yourself in situations where you're faking anything right and it's not that you do fake things leo but you do try to spare other people's feelings quite a bit you're really gentle at least my experiences with Leos, they have always been extremely empathetic and compassionate. I've been lucky to know Leos like that. Almost to their own detriment, though. To the point where people start questioning motives, right? So it's like, you better just be upfront and risk hurting someone than to um, go against what's best for you in the interest of serving someone else. Okay. What to embrace. What was that? What to avoid? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, what to avoid. Mother of Wands in reverse. Ooh. <laughs> well, this is a lot of ego. This is a, like a show off experience. Experience? A show off person? show off experience okay maybe there's a, an experience coming up where you could really show off <laughs> avoid that it's also an insecure person it could be you or it could be someone else that you're dealing with potentially another fire sign but it's that negative side side of the fire element that's just kind of um careless destructive If there's someone around you who's really begging for your attention, avoid it. This blue energy is like air to me. There's a lot of swords out here too. Yeah, avoid that fire energy because if you're an air energy, then you could only like you might just fan their flames. I feel like there's a potential here this year in 2022 to really upset someone unnecessarily. Just And it's not because you're doing anything. It's because something um, that you're doing from a place of... From a place of enlightened consciousness is triggering someone who is in low vibration. Kind of like what I just said, right? About somebody watching this video. But it's like, avoid people who project their shit onto you, okay? Um, it's not that you can't handle it, but you're working on yourself, so there's no point in dealing with that. 
what to embrace the five of pentacles well i do feel like you're moving or some foundation is being rocked i mean this is the theme of the year so some kind of loss would go along with that you're le you're walking away from something you're leaving something behind it does feel like a loss it could even be like breaking up with someone and that's attached to something larger or you're leaving a job you know and you're leaving money on the table whatever this is that you're doing there is a loss here and you just have to embrace it because it's part of the growth ultimately the humility where to find support two of pentacles I don't know for some I heard a car okay I don't know what that's about but some something to do with a car um and I'm seeing like hold on a second I'm seeing like an elastic band here a rubber band oh well you know like rubber bands when you put it on your wrist that whole thing where you like can snap it every time you think about something um, that you don't want to think about. It's like a like a <laughs> mini form of masochism, I guess, to, to remind you. I feel like that's in there somehow. You need to create some kind of habit or some kind of mechanism where you can easily remind yourself of what your higher purpose is, what you're trying to do here with your reflection and your personal power. You know, you could be crossing off days on a calendar. Maybe it is that elastic thing you want to do. Maybe it's an alarm on your phone. I don't know what it is, but there's something like really tangible that could keep you in balance here, that could keep you in check. Because the energy you're working through in this reading, not for the entire year, but in this reading is difficult. And it does look like you're going to have like somebody kind of poking at you a little bit. Now, how much that bothers you is all going to be up to you. I feel like you're not going to let that happen. Advice and encouragement is the five of swords in reverse, not to engage in any kind of conflict. Just, just walk away. You know, when you have personal power, you don't need to get in, involved in conflicts unnecessarily. You know, when you're personally empowered, you really only fight when it's absolutely necessary, you know, when it's for your survival. And I was saying there's some survival energy here. Okay, so when it's for your survival or someone else's survival, that's when you fight and you engage in the conflict because you must. But you save that energy for those moments of survival, whether they're like emotional, psychological, financial, physical, you know, that's the moments that it's fine. That's what you need to do. And I feel like there's somebody here, either in right now or in the past, that um, unnecessarily tried to engage you in some kind of conflict. And the advice is not to go into that because you're having, um, well, you're being given some power, like some strength here when it comes to conflict. Like, look at this um, tiger. This tiger has no problem pouncing on someone, you know, putting them down if it needs to. But this tiger is not going to go around wasting its energy doing that unnecessarily it's going to be for a purpose you know and maybe that's what you're reflecting on how you wasted your energy on like petty conflicts here all right let's get some um this is, is um feels like a specific message that you needed that you kind of already felt and that you just needed to hear again like you needed some validation that that what, what you're doing right now is the right path Okay, it's, it seems a little serious for you, but it's what I got. So I'm going to go into the reading more. I'm going to uh, go into the reading more. Yes, I'm going to go into the reading more in the extended. 
And I'm going to do a Celtic cross and see uh, what else is going on here in this context. What else we can get for the rest of the year. We'll see where it goes. Now let's get some last cards here to close this reading out for Leo. Show the world the real you. Prosperity lies ahead. I heard you have to win some, or you have to lose some to win some. Did I hear that? Or did I hear you have to win some to lose some? I think I heard you have to win some to lose some. Conclusions are within reach. So maybe you need a personal win in order to lose the baggage. You know what I mean? Conclusions are within reach. Luck is on your side. Love you so much, Leo. I'll see you next time.